Bonjour everyone. Let's move on with our next lesson. Tourner la page 22, turn to page 22. So what we have uh, on page 22 here, we have les adjectifs qualificatifs. So basically, we have the different kind of adjective in French, as I already mentioned in the classroom before. Uh, we will see the difference between masculine and feminine when it comes to adjective in French. Compared to English, uh, there's no changes, but in French, you will see the difference between masculine and feminine. So we have masculin on your left side and femina on your right side. Okay, let's continue. So we have the first three uh, examples here. We have petit for masculin and what happened here for femina ajoute e au femina it means you add e at the feminine adjective so petit 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 small for masculine petit masculin petit Femina. Okay? So small, petit, petit. Alright. Next. Grand. Grand. Big. So what happened for femina? You add E, becomes grand. Grand, grand. Intelligent. Intelligent. So the T is silent here, intelligent. So what happened for feminine? You add E, it becomes intelligent. Intelligent. Okay, look at the example. Example. Mon frère est petit, mais ma soeur est grande. My brother est petit. Sorry, my brother is small. Mon frère est petit, mais ma soeur est grande. But my sister is big. Mon frère est petit. My brother is small. Mais ma soeur est grande. But my sister is big. Petit, masculin. Grande, féminin. All right, the next example. Il est intelligent. Et elle est aussi intelligente. He is intelligent and she is also intelligent so you can see the difference intelligent masculin il est intelligent he is intelligent intelligent femina elle est aussi intelligent she is also intelligent all right we move on okay we have another example here okay gentil Gentil. You don't pronounce the L here. Gentil. And what happened? Feminine adjective. It becomes gentil. Gentil. So what what happened here? You have double la consonne finale au féminin. So what happened here? At the alphabet, the consonant alphabet, you double the consonant alphabet and you add E. Okay, so gentil, gentil. Okay, at the uh, the consonant alphabet at the end, you double it and you add e at the end. Gentil, gentil. Okay, gentil is kind. So he is kind. Il est gentil. She is kind. Elle est gentil. You know, for example. Right. The next one is mignon. Mignon. Cute. Mignon for femina. Mignon. Il est mignon. Elle est mignon. He is cute. Il est mignon. She is cute. Elle est mignon. For example, yeah? All right, the next one is gros. Gros is fat. So what happened to feminine? Femina. Okay, you double the S. You put E. Gros. Gros. For masculin, don't pronounce the S here. Gros, 
grosse. Ok? So, il est gros. Il est gros. He is fat. Elle est grosse. She is fat. Ok? We have example here. Uh, mon cousin est gentil. Et ma cousine est gentille. Cousin. Mon cousin. My male cousin. Ma cousine, my female cousin. So, mon cousin est gentil. My male cousin is kind. And my female cousin is kind. It becomes, et ma cousine est gentille. Mon cousin est gentil. Et ma cousine est gentille. My male cousin is kind and my female cousin is kind. Alright. He is cute and she is cute. Il est mignon et elle est mignonne. Il est mignon, he is cute, et elle est mignonne. And she is cute. So you see the difference, mignon, mignonne. Alright. The next examples, what we have here. Beau, belle. Bo for masculin becomes belle for feminine. Here you, we have change completely, change completely. Okay, Bo handsome, belle beautiful. For masculin, Bo feminine belle. Okay, all right. Next we have vieux. Vieux becomes vieille. Vieux, vieille. So you see, it changed completely. Vieux, vieille. Vieux, vieille. Old, yeah? Old. Okay, the last one we have. Sportif with F. Sportif, masculin. Sportif. And femina, we have sportive. Sportive. Okay? Alright. We have example here. Example. Mon père est beau. Et ma mère est belle. My father is handsome and my mother is beautiful. So you see, masculin, mon père est beau. Beau. Ma mère est belle. Femina, belle. My father is handsome and my mother is beautiful. Beau, belle. Mon grand-père est vieux. Et ma grand-mère est vieille. My grandfather is old and my grandmother is old. You see, vieux, masculin, my grandfather, vieux, vieille, femina, my grandmother. Okay? Mon grand-père est vieux et ma grand-mère est vieille. Alright, and finally we have mans, sympathique, jaune. So here you notice pas de changement. No changes. So we also have the adjectives that no changes at all for femina or masculin. Okay? Here we have mans, which is slim. So mascula mans, femina also mans. Sympathic. Sympathic. Kind or cool. Kind. Sympathic. Masculin sympathique, féminin aussi sympathique. Jeune, jeune, young. Ok? Masculin, jeune, no changes for feminine aussi. Jeune, young, young. Alright, exemple, for example, we have My sister is slim and my brother is slim. Ma soeur est mince et mon frère est mince. Ma soeur est mince. Et mon frère est mince. My sister, my sister is slim and my brother is slim. Mon oncle est sympathique et ma tante est sympathique. Mon oncle, my uncle, masculin, mon oncle est sympathique et ma tante and my aunt is cool. Ok? Same. It remains the same. Mon oncle est sympathique et ma tante est sympathique. My uncle is kind and my aunt is kind. Kind or cool is the same. Alright? So, I hope you can see the difference. Ok? There are various kind, uh, various uh, 
types of adjective here we have the adjective that you need to add e at the end you know you need to double the consonant alphabet with e at the end and the the adjective that you know it changed completely and also no changes so you have to memorize and and, and understand it um i hope um we can see again um on the next video and good luck okay au revoir